my friend and welcome to designing the toroid inductors so we have some cores here and i am going to talking about them and uh, what is the special and characteristic each kind of cores we have a fairy toroid core here and the iron powder toroid cores in here and uh, yeah if my circuit working in high frequency or uh, in the other hand if the voltage of input of inductors have a high frequency I must choosing ferrite cores for my inductors core why because this kind of induct this kind of cores working in high frequency and if I uh, uh, imply the uh, low frequency to this kind of course nothing um, nothing working no working and uh, no frequency coming out of them i mean it's uh, the output of this kind of course in low frequency is about a zero so i must using a, another kind of course that um, uh, we know them as a iron powder course each iron um, powder course uh, have a special uh, coating and in the different colors each color mean uh, about uh, uh, means uh, the permeability of this kind of cores uh, and yeah but uh, about uh, permeability of the uh, ferrite core we have nothing on the cores and uh, yeah all of the world nothing not have a you know, reach to the magnetic uh, co cores and um, so we must be experiment with uh, some wire and RLC meter and find out how so uh, for designing the inductors each toroid have a three lengths I mean it's a high length from here to high here the height outer diameter I mean from here to here and in inner diameter that's a here and here it's simple it's a uh, similar uh, for iron powder core the height iron, uh, outer diameter and inner diameter so uh, if I uh, measuring this uh, um, parameters uh, I can making and designing the toroid inductor cores uh, and we telling you how you can make it in, in continue uh, one important uh, things about the toroid cores is that you cannot or we cannot uh, filling the inner hole of them by wire my mean is that if you uh, if you are uh, going to making a big inductors I mean uh, in about uh, 100 or bigger than uh, we cannot or we uh, we are not allowed to fill um, the inner hole uh, the 20% of inner hole by wire um, I mean uh, if uh, we can uh, if we are going to wire in this kind of course we can just uh, wiring from here 20 percent of diameter of inner hole why because if uh, we are continue to uh, wiring here like this core i am uh, it's have a really uh, uh, yeah hard working for me and so it's about a, a 50 meter wire around here uh, uh, wire that uh, I am around he, uh, around this core yeah, and but my wiring cannot uh, or do not uh, filling uh, the 20 percent of this hole why because if you are filling more than 20 percent uh, of this hole by your by your wire uh, the this core going to saturation or something be happen and if you are using this core in your circuit uh, you cannot uh, find what's your problem uh, in your circuit and this, uh, this core go uh, into saturation and this kind of stuff uh, so when you 
like to designing a big toroid core choosing the best cores and do not be stingy <laughs> sorry so for this core I am going to measuring the outer diameter of this 4.5 centimeter for outer diameter and inner diameter it's about uh, 2.5 centimeter and the height is 1.5 centimeter and about the ferret core it's about 4.5 centimeter for outer diameter and inner diameter uh, is uh, about 2.7 2.7 centimeter and the height is about uh, 1.5 centimeter now I am choosing this diameters and the values uh, and designing my toroid inductor uh, using an online calculator and uh, yeah let's go and design